What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Playmates Baragon. Yes. Not a very huge fan of Playmates, but some of their stuff I do like. At the time of this recording, I believe he is still available on Amazon at the time that this video comes out. I'm not sure if there are any still on Amazon, but if you want this one, I highly recommend it first off. It's a great Baragon figure, for one. Playmates did an excellent job, that is all I will say before getting into the review. So if you want one of these guys, I recommend you go get them. I, again, they might still be on Amazon. You can get it for under 20 bucks. Because trying to find this guy in the store, I was hearing was very few and far in between and was very rare. And most of the sales were going through online through Amazon and whatnot. So it was like, I just scooped mine up on Amazon while I could. Glad that, that I did. Baragon's one of my favorite kaiju, especially the show up version. And this figure does not disappoint. All I must say is wow. For a Playmates figure, excellent job. Excellent, excellent job. So, getting into this figure review, let's go ahead and talk about paint applications. Baragon here, sporting very nice brown throughout his entire body. Very nice shade of uh, like a mud dirt brown. For his horn on his nose here, the top of his head, and then of course his uh, like armor going down his back towards the middle of the tail. Um, I really wish that they, I really wish that they finished that out. Um, I really wish they did. I really wish that they finished that out because that is the only thing I don't like about this figure. I do not like that break. So I really wish they continued that. But a uh, very nice light brown, like a very light beige-ish color for all of that. Eyes white with black pupils. Teeth are that lighter beige. Claws on his hands and his feet are that lighter tannish, uh, you know, desert like, you know, almost like a desert camo color. That's what I want to say it is. Inside of the mouth, very nice pinkish red. Looks very good. No bit of slop on this guy whatsoever. Again, other than this break, everything's pretty clean. Everything looks excellent. Ears, fantastic. Detail-wise... I just want to stay. I just want to state this now. This is uh, supposed to be Baragon 1965 from Frankenstein Conquers the World. This is Showa Baragon, but in my opinion, it looks more like the 1968, and a lot of other collectors have said that too. This looks more like Baragon from Destroy All Monsters, and I have no problem with that. Because I have plenty of Showa Baragon, but it is mainly all the 1965 uh, from Frankenstein Conquers the World. So this is pretty much, I want to say, my first actual 1968 Baragon. I really like the way he looks. I think it's just a fantastic sculpt. Again, I I'd pick it up. Th this is definitely one of Playmate's best figures. All the, you know, pattern detail on the chest here. All the warts and everything on the arms and the legs. Curvature of the tail. Very nice. Again, all the detailing here and the face and the nose. The horn. Spikes. Ears. They look fantastic. Teeth. Are individually sculpted they look great but yes in my opinion uh, this does not really look like the 65 Baragon this looks more like the 68 from destroy all monsters but again I think it's just I think it's fantastic overall it's fantastic detail is just details very nice for playmates 
not anything freaking crazy amazing, but you know, it's for playmates. For playmates, it's it's impressive. Again, all that detailing on the top of the head. This looks great. Looks fantastic. Articulation on this guy. His head, you can look left and right. Turn it all the way around if you want to. Arms, you can move up, you can move down. Legs, you can kick forward ever so far and then it just kind of stops on its own. You can kick back ever so far. Same thing with the other one. So a little posability, tail goes all the way around, however you see fit. So a little bit of posability, nothing crazy, but again, it is a Playmates figure. But for what it is, I think it looks actually, it looks fantastic. As far as scaling goes, Playmates, he's gonna fit in with anything Bandai, other Playmates, uh, stuff like that. So for size comparisons, I just have my basic uh, unit of measure here because a lot of people have this figure. Um, of course, not this one in particular, but this is the Godzilla 1968 from Bandai. And this is the 50th Memorial Box version. That's what I mean is people have this figure, just not this version, um, at least many, because again, the 50th anniversary Memorial Box is uh, a lot of, it's, it's expensive and a lot of the figures individually are expensive. He's one of the more cheap ones just because, you know, Godzilla 1968 is was just one of those Bandai figures that I feel like a lot of Godzilla collectors ended up getting the regular release of. So same figure, just different color. Um, so that's, that's why I use him as my unit of measurement, uh, when just doing like six inch figures, because I think everybody's going to have a good idea. Scales in well, definitely can see Godzilla and Baragon teaming up, you know, definitely look great together in all honesty. Again, you know, the destroy all monsters, you know, crew right there. So Yeah. Looks great. <clears throat> Scales in well. So without further ado, you guys, that about does it for my review on this guy. Hope you guys enjoyed um, the uh, Playmates Baragon. So without further ado, you guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to atomic blast that notification bell while you're at it. Don't forget to like and follow Godzilla Fan Freaks over on Facebook. And don't forget to follow Godzilla Fan Freaks over on Instagram. That way you stay up to date with everything going on. All right, you guys. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.